And the county board of supervisors taking a closer look at the response to the spill during their meeting. Yeah, they held their meeting today. Nine on your side, Tina Giuliano sat in on that meeting and talked to Southern Arizonans about how they feel. Tanya Stegemeyer and her family have lived in Cochise County for the last 18 years. I've never seen anything like this. When the nitric acid spilled on I-10 between Kolb and Rita Roads, Stegmeyer was looking for more information. My first thought was, what in the heck is going on? I mean, there's too many of it, too much of it happening. Just it seems like random and it's all over. And One of her concerns is that she doesn't think that the public was getting enough info. I just think... There should have been more information out there. It was kind of hard to even find anything about it. So, yeah, more information would have been good. The county administrator gave an update on the spill during the Pima County Board of Supervisors meeting. It was successfully controlled and mitigated. There will be lessons learned that will strengthen our community and preparedness and communication. Supervisor Steve Christie expressed concern over the lack of communication during the spill. The lead agency was DPS. There was no contact or information whatsoever with my district, with my office, with my constituents. And these folks were terrified. We just urge that local response teams, and particularly yours, because it encompasses so much, uh, elbow, claw, whatever you got to do to get in there and take the lead. Stegemeyer hopes something like this doesn't happen again. And I just hope that, you know, no accidents happen that close to home. So I'm still glad that we live here and overall I think we should be um, feeling pretty lucky. In Tucson, Tina Giuliano, KGA9 on your side. Yeah, there we are. Real News Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell.